What's up, everybody? It's Mommy Wata, and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. Thank you so much for joining me here on my platform. I appreciate all of the love and support. Thank you for everything that you do to keep Mommy Wata in the loop. I appreciate you, okay? Um, I'm picking up on a Queen of Wands who has truly fought the good fight. She has been very resilient to people's attacks against her. Empress was on the bottom of the deck. And look, cut the deck on the nine of wands. She's most definitely a wounded warrior, but she has persevered. She has pushed through everything that was attempted to be put on her head. And God see you. And God wants to know that you're about to be rewarded. It's a, it's one situation in particular, though, that you have really, you have conquered. You have been able to persevere. Persevere, 111, when I looked up, persevere is the word. So, Holy Spirit, what do you want this Queen of Wands energy that I'm picking up on to know at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the insight and clarity that we need? From this download, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know? One more shuffle. Message with Holy Spirit for this Queen of Wands energy. What would you like for her to know at this time, please? And thank you. Judgment. The trumpet has been blown on your suffering. The trumpet has been blown on everything that you have been enduring. And you are about to see a major transformation happen in your life with this judgment card. Okay? God, I'm telling you, God has been has decided that, okay, you've had enough. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, she may be a Leo. Okay? But you're about to receive a new start in life. You are about to receive justice in your life because I'm telling you, you've been out here in your masculine energy persevering against the attacks being thrown at you okay you most definitely have leo aries or sagittarius in your chart you could have leo in your no north node i'm just heard i don't know but whatever it is you push through despite how it was looking despite how the future was looking you knew that it could be better everything is temporary you got this Fuck with me if you want to. Okay, this was your vibe all the way through. Whatever I am picking up on that you you face. Whatever this challenge was. And you are about to have a bright future. Okay? Holy Spirit, what was the challenge here? The scales most definitely are being balanced in your favor. We have the world. It was a karmic cycle for sure. Something that you felt... You had a moral obligation to stop doing whatever this was that you were doing. And the challenge was the energy being thrown at you, the karmic energy being thrown at you to, to take you back where you had and came from. But you've truly left that, that way of life behind. Now, what I'm picking up is maybe people were able to get you out of character. Okay? I see this Knight of Swords, and I'm just really picking up on your fire energy but you didn't use your fire energy to attack anybody i feel like people were trying to pull you up out of you pull make you really not even pull you up out of your element they were trying to make you execute that element breathe fire okay on motherfuckers they were trying to make you be karmic and i just really feel like you transmuted that that fire within you and you you put it towards fueling you to move forward and have a better outcome and future elsewhere and this is why you are about to get this ten of cups the world also signifies the success the achievement the recognition we receive from the universe when we 
own up to our moral obligations and we end karmic cycles in our lives. It's something about your temper here. It's something about how you used to react to people with this Knight of Swords. Clarify. People really used to could get you to show your ass, page of wands, say things that you probably didn't mean to say. Okay, we got the Queen of Cups out here. I feel like you are a very loving individual. You really do be trying to lead with love. But for some reason, yep, Empress right behind that. But for some reason, somebody been trying to push your buttons here lately. Somebody really was Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords. The Holy Spirit says that's the truth. This Queen of Swords was trying to invoke a negative change in you. She was trying to get you to blow your top, Queen of Wands. Okay? And I'm talking about you probably was ready to blow your top a few times coming out here as this King of Wands. But you kept it moving with this Eight of Wands. Because you could see that this person was trying to cause some type of negative change for you. Cause you to be seen in a particular light. With this um, Six of Wands to a King of Cups. Ooh, it's getting juicy now. It's getting juicy. So a Queen of Swords was trying to make a King of Cups look at you differently. Change his mind about you. Realize some truth about you that you were really hot headed, okay, and that he didn't need to fuck with you. That's what I'm picking up here. But I feel like you're about to get that connection, you're about to have that Ten of Cups, Justice, the Sun, and the Ten of Cups out here. We got the Four of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. He's going to see celebrating with this Queen of Swords, and he's going to choose you. Look what them flew out here. Okay, that's what I'm picking up on. The fact that you held your tongue, you didn't blow your top, you didn't cuss this Queen of Swords out, you didn't, you didn't engage, you disengage. Okay, you withdrew your energy from showing out and be put on blast to this king of cups like this woman's trying to make you come off as somebody that was immature hot-headed this king of cups is giving somebody who's very laid back a very calm lax individual she was trying to make you seem like you were immature you know wow you she would pop off and act crazy okay Eight of Swords, she most definitely was trying to catch you up. So, did this woman contact my Queen of Wands? I'm going to call you King of Wands. You know your energy, masculine. We all embody masculine and feminine energy. You know, the Holy Spirit is calling you a King of Wands because that's how dominant, how hard in the paint you went to remain cool. Okay, stay cool, motherfucker. Y'all know the rules. You know the rules of the game. That's what I just heard. You know the rules of the game. You knew this Queen of Swords was trying to get you, blast you, and get you caught up with this King of Cups somehow so that he would stop celebrating with you. But what's what's don't what's about to happen is just because she tried to do that to you, Queen of Wands, he about to stop celebrating with her. And he's seeing you in a different light because you ain't stooped to her level. She, she tried to catch you up. But what did this Queen of Swords do exactly towards my Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine? King of Wands, Divine Feminine. Two of Pentacles. I'm telling you, she tried to she tried to juggle your emotions somehow. She tried to get you fucked up now. Maybe she tried to tell you something about her in this King of Cups. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Temperance. I feel, I feel like this woman tried to mess with your emotions by telling you that this King of Cups was balancing things in her life as well. Okay. Keeping her ass regulated, so to speak. And that they may have had a future plan for each other. That's what she, she may have come to you with that. Or she hasn't tried to... Get that message to you, baby. If she didn't tell you directly, directly, she tried to 
ensure that you knew that she was balancing this king of cups life and he was balancing balancing hers and that their future looked bright together but see you know i gotta just run it back with this page of pentacles the definition of a page of pentacles can be somebody who believes that their future is going to be one way based off of their present actions but that future ain't going to turn out how they hoped. And this Queen of Swords was hoping that she would have a future with this King of Cups. But he won't be still. He keep moving. This card keeps turning. It won't stay straight. And that just tells me that he is not. He has veered off of that path with this Queen of Swords. And she mad about it. So her attempt to catch you up was going to be her way to prove that he should commit to her. You know, she was trying to get that slick love offer. This woman may be an Aquarius, but I'm telling you, this man has eight of cups to her. And he wants to have a connection with you, Queen of Wands, okay? And I just noticed that this temperance Sagittarius energy came out here as well. So you could be a Sagittarius as well. It's Leo out here, King of Wands, and Sagittarius energy for sure. Okay? But that's what happened here. This is what you've been enduring, fighting against. You know, you know the rules of the game and you knew that this one was trying to make you look bad to this man so that he wouldn't want to be with you. But this man is about to send you a message of love and let you know that he wants to move forward with you and take action with you. Period, Pooh. That's it. That's it on that, Queen of Wands. I'm going to call you what I initially heard you be referred to by the Holy Spirit. But you most definitely are out here as this Empress energy and this King of Wands. And this Lover's energy. Nothing to play with. This Queen of Swords didn't learn that because, baby, she did try to play with you. She did try to do some karmic to get you to refuse this man's offer and view him as a king of swords and turn your back to him okay so that he could be in a position to continue to give to and receive from her oh she was scheming baby but that's why he cut that shit okay that's why he cut that shit right there because she was scheming mm. and i feel like he found out about it he found out about it this masculine found out about whatever this queen of swords did to deter you from dating him. He knows that she tried to push your buttons. He knows that she tried to get you to act out of character. So that you you would that he wouldn't want to fuck with you. That somehow he would be he would be turned off by you because 1313 when I looked up because of how you behaved. That's what she was trying to do, which is very immature of her. She was trying to make you look immature, but that's some old immature ass shit. What I'm picking up on, that was like her plan for real. And this, this King of Cups know it, and you knew it too. And this is why you're about to get this Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Chariot with the damn magician. Because she, she played all day and lost. Any final messages for my King of Wands, Empress Energy, Holy Spirit? Anything else? Four of Swords. I'm telling you, that man found out what this woman was trying to do. And he laying that connection to rest. You know, you deciding not to go there like you know you could with this strength energy, okay? You can go there if you wanted to. Fire sign. Okay, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine, that's who you are overall, Divine Feminine. You could go there, but you knew that if you would have went there, if you would have took that bold and erratic action, it would have left you in regret. It may have caused this man to look at you a little sideways, wonder what's really up in your head. And that ain't even your vibe anyway. Everybody has a temper. Okay, everybody has a temper. It just depends on what can cause that temper to come to fruition, to bust out on a motherfucker. So, you've learned how to control your 
temper. You've learned how to use that fire within you to fuel yourself in other ways as opposed to going off on somebody. And here you go, Queen of Wands. This is why you are emerging as this man's ideal love choice. Okay? 1515 on the phone. And I think I'm going to drop the mic. I'm going to post this on my I Be Knowing Tarot. This is specifically for a Queen of Wands, for sure. So I'm going to post this on my Zodiac channel. And I hope this message is heard by the right ears. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I will be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.